This is U.S. immigration attorney Hardim Tripathi from Trip Law. Today we're going to be speaking with you about the Build Back Better bill here in the United States Congress. How does this affect immigration policy and furthermore, how does it affect you as that immigrant? Well, ultimately, this bill was recently uh, just passed through the House of Representatives through the United States Congress. And the United States House of Representatives passed this more than one trillion dollar bill and ultimately they used the reconciliation process to do so. Now this Build Back Better plan that President Joe Biden has promulgated has now passed through Nancy Pelosi's leadership, the Speaker of the House. And ultimately the Congressional Budget Office has stated that this is going to increase for the deficit with respect to the United States government, about $160 billion over 10 years. Ultimately, Nancy Pelosi tried to call a vote on this on Thursday as of the recording of this video this past Thursday. And the minority leader, Mr. McCarthy, ultimately gave an over eight hour speech on the House floor. This did delay the bill in about one day, but ultimately the Democrats ultimately ended up passing it a little bit after 5 a.m. Uh, come Friday leading into Saturday, and uh, ultimately uh, Nancy Pelosi and the House Democrats ended up passing this bill. So now we have to think about this. How does this ultimate bill passage in the House of Representatives in our Congress here in D.C., how does that ultimately affect immigration reform? Well, ultimately, this was one of the most historic, comprehensive bills in terms of monetary policy, in terms of money, in 35 years. Ultimately, what ended up happening was the people in place plan ultimately happened. You saw visa caps being affected. And this is all immigration related. They did squeeze in immigration through reconciliation process, albeit that Elizabeth McNaughton, the Senate parliamentarian, had not ultimately preliminarily allowed this or authorized it. However, now that Nancy Pelosi has passed this bill, what impact does it have on immigration? They did put immigration elements into this bill, and ultimately what ended up happening was the parole in place program, excuse me. Parole in place has now been actually uh, introduced in this bill. There's also been elements of visa caps. They're trying to expedite uh, the caps on visas, and there's been a lot of visas held up in backlogs. So this bill, if passed through the Senate and signed on the president's desk, will ultimately affect the visa caps. Uh, there's also uh, other elements to this bill where now they're allowing immigrants to have state driver's licenses. Um, we're also seeing work permits being extended to five years. Uh, we're also seeing that ultimately based on a lot of these elements of this bill that there will be about a three million uh, dollar increase in terms of those who are interested in getting legal permanent residence. Um, there's also elements of it where it's going to increase the deficit as it relates to employment visas. Um, and ultimately there's these things called super fees that have been introduced within this bill. Now, what this super fees thing is, if anyone who's been held for more than two years as it relates to their, to their uh, visas, they are now able to pay a lot of fees that will ultimately aid in expediting their visas and ultimately getting their green cards. Also, in terms of that, it's gonna increase fees. There's a $2.8 billion increase as per the CBO in terms of basically processes where people are going to have to uh, ultimately pay money and 2.8 billion dollars of this will go to USCIS, the agency that processes these visas. And so ultimately you're adding a 2.8 billion dollar surplus to our agencies that process these USCIS visas. So hopefully we will see an expedition of these visas, these processes as it relates to immigrants, which is a good thing for immigrants but many may question whether this may be good for the American taxpayer. So ultimately, we're seeing a lot of uh, senators, such as Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia. We're seeing Ms. Cinema also 
not really like a lot of these expenses that are being spent that are that some may say may be egregious um, but ultimately it all comes down to the senate parliamentarian it comes down to the house leadership who has now passed this bill through nancy pelosi and now this bill goes to the senate and ultimately to the president to sign so we at trip law here will definitely give you an up-to-date uh, sort of uh, update on how these bills are going through the legislature and ultimately the CBO has said that based on the immigration aspect of it there's about hundred and eleven billion dollars that the Congressional Budget Office has said over the next 10 years that this will impact us for immigration reform and another three hundred and eleven billion dollars over the following 10 years um, as we look to ultimately pass immigration reform a lot of the uh, proponents of this immigration bill have said that this is good for immigrants and those on the other side of the aisle have said that this violates the bird rule um, with respect to reconciliation. So this is all something that is going back and forth between House Democrats and House Republicans and Senate Republicans and Democrats. So we here at Trip Law always love policy because policy affects you as the immigrant and Americans that are also watching this, ultimately, as we have this delicate balance between protecting the Constitution and also respecting immigrant rights. So at the end of the day, we really appreciate you tuning in for this policy update on what's going on on the Hill. And we here at Trip Law will keep you updated. So thank you very much. We do look forward to assisting immigrants as they go through this process. We will keep you attuned with respect to how these bills will ultimately impact you as the immigrant and you as the U.S. citizen. We'll also keep you aware on how your taxpayer dollars are ultimately affecting that immigrant who will soon be your neighbor. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. We here at Trip Law look forward to working with you and keeping you abreast with respect to these policies, and we wish you the best. Thank you.